Hey YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 on Saturdays. Alright, so where we left off, Arya is now a child and um, we were uh, given a wish by her father to enroll her in a boarding school. Uh, while I've decided I will go ahead and do that for her childhood, um, I'm not going to do it immediately. Um, there is um, Spooky Day coming up. And so I thought uh, she could enjoy her uh, herself with uh, with her family for Spooky Day first uh, beforehand. And you can see here the remnants of her birthday party where she aged up uh, is still kind of there. And she kind of ate part of her autumn salad when her dad came up to her and wanted to talk to her. So I uh, and now I'm like, okay, well she's going to school soon, so she better. Uh, Make sure she has a full tummy. And uh, here she's off to her first day of just regular public school. Um, so I'm, I'm letting her do uh, a regular day at school here. Um, she does not have the day off for Spooky Day yet. The next day after this is Spooky Day and she will have that day off from school. Um, but I wanted to make sure that she, uh, she uh, went ahead and went to school. So <clears throat> here she... Oh, excuse me. Um, I do have a bit of a, uh, uh, infection, uh, a respiratory infection while I'm t recording this, so I apologize if my voice sounds a bit off today. Alright, so here is the next day, um, and, uh, earlier I just kind of had that little interaction with her mom and dad there, and she, I had her dress up as an alien for a spooky day. I tried to get her to go trick-or-treating, but I don't know if it's a glitch in the game or she just didn't want to go, but um, I could not get them to go. Um, the interaction kept going away, kind of similar to how the interaction with um, her dad, with Isaac, uh, was when I was trying to get him to go to work and he just wouldn't. Um, I'm thinking there's still some glitches in the game, so I just decided, eh, screw it. So here we're having a feast party. Um, it's kind of like a Thanksgiving feast, almost, like they're kind of combining Thanksgiving and and Halloween, you can either have a costume party or a feast party, and Arya wanted a feast party, so I went ahead and held a feast party, but poor little thing, um, got so worn out with school and playing, um, with the water balloons with her dad that she just went upstairs and went to sleep, so she's missing the entire feast party. Um, but now that we've got Spooky Day passed, um, I went ahead and enrolled her to the Le Fromage Art School, which is what um, her dad wanted, so you can see here, fulfilled his lifetime wish. So I went ahead and just did that, and she'll leave uh, the next morning at 9 a.m. So she doesn't leave right away, but um, here we go the next morning. Mom and dad are still a bit asleep, and she just, she just kind of runs off. <laughs> Bye, Mom and Dad. I'm off to, uh, to boarding school. See you later. Just kind of hops in a cab and goes. So, uh, I went ahead and did that, and of course, Mom and Dad took advantage of their daughter being gone to, uh, engage in some amorous activities. Um, it does look a little like, um, Felicia has a, a younger boy toy, because when he's not a werewolf, he looks really, really young. Um, like he's in his 20s or something, and she looks like she's in her 60s, which is hilarious. Um, I think he's maybe 10 days younger than her in the in the game so like 10 years younger you know I kind of equate one uh, one sim date in one year but be that as it may uh, <laughs> despite the fact that she looks so much older than him uh, she is still quite the feisty lady uh, so for anyone who has uh, been following this series from the beginning, I mean, I started her off as a young adult, a um, nice young single adult, and we've been following her adventures now for, I think this is the, the 25th episode now, so, and now she's in her, in the twilight of her years, and um, falling asleep immediately after, woohooing, <laughs> with her, uh, with her very young looking handsome husband. All right, so for Isaac, if you recall, so I, I had him quit his job. Um, so his lifetime wish uh, was never going to get fulfilled. So I went ahead and I, I, he had enough lifetime uh, rewards points that I gave him a new lifetime wish 
So he just has to max out athletic skill and logic skill and he'll have his lifetime wish. And that should still be doable for him, especially at his age. And then um, I noticed that um, Felicia also has a, had a lot of saved up um, lifetime rewards. I mean, I've given her a lot of lifetime rewards already through using a cheat. Uh, but these were actually earned lifetime rewards that I've just not used yet. So I went ahead and got her a Simbot, um, the My Best Friend um, lifetime reward. And so you'll notice here we now have Gina Swan, who has joined the family. I thought that might be interesting, especially now that um, Arya is now out of the house, at least temporarily. And uh, she may be a teen by the time she gets back. So I thought having um, a new family member wouldn't hurt, especially since I don't know how much longer Felicia is going to uh, be alive. Um, but you see here that I'm having her try and keep herself fit and trim. Uh, I figure, you know, if she's healthy and exercising, uh, she, might, uh, she might live a longer life. I don't know. Uh, one of the things that uh, Gina here wanted to do was upgrade an item, so I had her upgrade the TV. And uh, her lifetime wish is to, to max out the uh, military career. So I had her join um, the military career. She might as well earn her keep in the household. <laughs> so apparently she's just going to be just like a, another sim in the household now. And uh, she has an inventor skill, so I figure I'd have her work on that. I didn't really have a good place for the, uh, the workbench, so I just kind of put it in the, in the backyard. Um, I figure the simbot wouldn't mind the cold even though it's snowing a lot out there. But I thought that, uh, no, I'm just gonna have something a little bit uh, extra to add. And here you can see Arya decided she wanted to come home early. Um, so she has, uh, she's requested to come home and I said, well, sure, um, if she really wants to come home, I see no reason why uh, I should force her to stay at the boarding school if she really doesn't want to be there. So uh, here she is, she just returned. And you can see she's still a child, she's, so she hasn't aged up yet. And uh, she is, uh, the first thing she does is wants to give uh, Champion the horse a carrot. I thought that was kind of sweet. And then um, she actually just kind of went straight to bed. I think she was tired from her trip home. And here she is the next day. Uh, she got up and uh, started playing uh, with one of the dogs. And uh, I am going to wrap up this episode here. Um, in the next episode, we will see her age up to a teen. She's only like a day away from that, so she will be having a birthday the next day. And here I thought she should maybe play with her imaginary friend doll, Tambor, before she ages up to a teen. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.